sure you probably won't improve in, in every aspect of, of your defense, but when you and the staff went back and looked at last season, what are some of the, the maybe the top line items that, that you as a defense want to improve going into next season? Yeah, we, we want to be better on third and long. You know, that was one thing that um, – I thought we did a really good job, you know, getting guys in some what we would think is some high predictable situations, um, third and eight, third and nine, and um, we didn't cash in, you know, as much as we needed to do. So, you know, we obviously took a really deep dive into that, you know, try to evaluate it, you know, from scheme to players to, you know, uh, situation, just making sure that, you know, we're putting the guys in the best possible positions and making sure we got the right guys to obviously be in there to execute. So um, that was one of the bigger things that, um, that we took away from it. Coach, it's obviously early in the game, but what would you like the identity of your defense to be next season? Yeah, I, I don't think that ever changes. You know, you, you want to be tough. You want to be relentless, you know, in terms of how hard you play. Um, and you want to be smart. You know, I think those are three, you know, um, components that you're constantly trying to build a defense around. So, um, you know, we are a work in progress. You know, as we know, you know, it's a new year going into a new season. You know, we obviously lost some parts. You know, we got some guys back, you know, that obviously we're excited about. You know, but as I told the group, you know, no, no interception, no tackle for loss that we created last year carries over to the next season. So, you know, we got to start from scratch, you know, and build the thing and, and get ready to go. Coach, how much does it help having leaders back like Paige, Flowers, uh, you know, as you get spring ball underway here? I, I think it's big, you know, because obviously those guys have some success, had some success last season. You know, they got great experience. So, you know, it won't be foreign to them in terms of some of the things that, you know, we obviously have within our system, you know, and being able to teach some of the younger guys exactly what the expectations are and, and how we go about our business. So, you know, it's exciting. That is definitely an exciting part to have some guys back, you know, but those guys also understand there's a lot of work yet to be done. Coach, could you just talk about, you know, Elijah Herring, what you all liked about him and recruiting and, and what you've liked since he's gotten here both in the off-season program and out there through two days? Yeah, just first, Elijah's just such a great kid. You know, he's super competitive, you know, good size, um, athleticism, you know, but just the way he goes about his business, you know, day in and day out. You know, we thought we would get that, you know, but sometimes you don't know until you actually get a chance to, un you know, open up the present. And, you know, he has not disappointed that way. You know, he's just a kid who wants to please, wants to do things the right way. You know, great energy in the weight room, great energy on the field. Uh, we're super excited, you know, obviously that he's here. You know, we think it's great things on the horizon for him. What's uh, Jawan Mitchell got to do this spring to kind of get back on track and uh, try to get to a position where he can really help you in the fall? Yeah, well, you know, obviously being healthy is the biggest deal, you know, and he's worked really hard to put himself in a position to be able to contribute this year. So uh, right now we're pleased with his development and where he is. Um, you know, he's working hard. You know, I'm, I'm really excited, you know, once we can um, totally get him going. But, you know, I, th I think he's going to be fine. I really do. He's worked hard. You know, I think obviously sitting out and missing, you know, so many games, there is some rust to be knocked off. But what he may um, have missed physic from a physical uh, component, I think he'll make up just from sheer learning and seeing the system and being having extra classroom time. So uh, I'm hoping from a mental perspective he'll be further ahead, you know, and obviously once he can get going, going, you know, we expect him to be, you know, obviously able to help us in the, in the program this year. What are those limitations of spring? Uh, I would assume not full go yet. Yeah, you know, that's I leave that to hype and, you know, obviously the trainers to tell me, you know, but when they say he's ready to go, you know, we'll definitely get him going. With you all being banged up at corner right now, just how frustrating is that to, to get some work and how are y'all going about getting guys work and, and what have you seen from Desmond Williams so far? Yeah, it's obviously a challenge anytime you don't have your full allotment of guys out there. But at the same time, you know, another man's loss is another man's opportunity. So, you know, we got some young guys and, and obviously, you know, some guys that, um, you know, you guys probably won't even know in this room, but there is an opportunity there. So those guys are getting reps. You know, the standard doesn't change. You know, we expect them to play hard. We expect them to be physical and all those good things. But, um, you know, will we like those other guys out there? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, even if they can't do something physically, those guys are obviously working hard, you know, in the classroom. So I expect those guys to be ready when the time is right. And as far as um, D, you know, D's been good. You know, I think D's done a nice job, you know, just trying to, um, you know, learn exactly what we're doing and how to do it. Um, but, but so far he, he, he's working at a pace that, you know, that we're satisfied with. Uh, I think he understands, you know, he's, he's taking another step in class. So, um, he'll continue to get better. You know, it's obviously, it's obviously just day two, um, but I saw some improvement from the first day to the second, so I expect for him to, you know, continue on that path. Rick on the left and Adam on the 
Yeah, Co Coach, with an identity in place, which you didn't have a year ago, how different are your developmental goals for this, this unit this year compared to last? Yeah, I think like I said earlier, I, I think, you know, what we have is a culture, hopefully, that we've got in place. So, um, but I think you have to start start over every single year and break it down and make sure the guys understand again what the expectations are. I think the thing that's easier is you got some guys that can preach the gospel for you, you know, because last year it was just the coaches and trying to teach, here's what our expectations are. But now as we're doing it again, now you have guys explaining it right with us, right in line. So um, so the, the, the standard has not changed. We're excited about it. Um, you know, as far as the, the young kids learning it, I think it'll be just like it was last year. It's going to take some of those younger guys to get caught up to speed. But hopefully with the experienced guys we got coming back, you know, we can speed that thing up and get those guys to be, be able to play at a high level sooner than later. With, with that said, I, I do. So far, so good. You know, so far, so good. You know, and we're basing that on, you know, not just two days of practice, but obviously the off season and, and how they went about their business, how their bodies have changed. You know, some guys have, you know, dropped a considerable amount of body fat. Um, so, you know, they're trying to do the right things off the field, which is always a good sign. Um, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, doing the right thing in the classroom and just being a, you know, a well-rounded person because we feel like if you if you have the discipline to do the off, do, be on the off off the field, do the right things, then that discipline should show up on the field. So, you know, we really preach that a lot, and we feel like we're starting to see some um, some payoff to it, if you will. A couple questions. One, uh, you talked about third down defense. Hops talked about that. That seems like an in-season adjustment. Uh, what can you really do in the spring that can improve third down defense? Well, I think it's just like anything. You know, you're going to work at every single situation that you saw from last season, right? Uh, you kind of lean on the experiences that you had based on last season. But ultimately, I think what you're saying is you can't get it done to the game, but you obviously have to practice it. So, you know, whether it's third and extra long, whether it's third and medium, you know, just making sure the kids understand very clearly what the situation is. And then obviously us as coaches trying to put them in the right situations. But, you know, it's no different than, you know, why you do red zone or why you do first and ten. I mean, you got to practice it, obviously to be ready for it during the season. It's only so many concepts you're going to see, you know, and our offense obviously does a great job, you know, on what they do. So I think we'll be, you know, at a point where we're seeing just about everything. It's just a matter of reacting when the time is right. And a follow-up on D. Williams. He's obviously he can gain reps with those mm -hmm. other guys out. He loses the fact, though, that he doesn't get to watch those guys with more experience. How do you balance the pros and cons for him not having those guys out there with him? Yeah, you know, that's always a challenge. But at the end of the day, you know, I think most people would tell you they'd rather do it than watch it. You know, so having the ability to get out there and do it is really a benefit to him, I think, in the long run. But he also has um, the ability to watch tape from last season and watch some of those guys perform. And obviously those guys are still out there with him, you know, and coaching them just like we are. So um, I, I think it's a win for him in terms of being able to get out there and probably gain more reps than, than maybe he would, you know, if those other guys had been healthy. So um, I, I, th I think he'll be fine. He'll at least get the opportunity to prove that he can do it. A lot of time with the defensive backs during the open media session. Uh, what do you want to see develop? What do you want to coach in that group? Yeah, you know, just kind of what we've been talking about. We don't have a ton of depth right there at this moment, you know, so just making sure the guys that we have in there, you know, are prepared and, and ready to go. You know, we're going to see, you know, a lot of different looks from our offense. And, you know, I just want to make sure those guys, you know, have the right mindset, which I know they will. You know, Coach Martinez does a tremendous job with those guys. Uh, but I just want to make sure that, you know, we, we won't use youth or inexperience as a crutch, you know, because the reality of it is, you know, we're going to get the guys ready that we have. You know, and, and we're going to go to battle. So if it happens to be those guys that we're working with this spring, then so be it. So, you know, we're, we're going to coach the guys we got, and I just want to make sure those guys are ready to go. Yeah, Tim, with some of the guys that y'all were able to return there on the edge and, and maybe some of the guys you've recruited as well, how much more effective do you think that group can, can be in terms of, you know, I know y'all had some tackles for losses and sacks last year, but maybe getting there without blitzes and helping that third down defense. Sure. Yeah. No, we're, we're excited about the guys that are coming back again from an experience standpoint. You know, obviously Tyler and, you know, and the rest of the guys. Um, you know, we think they'll be better, you know, because they've played more. Um, and obviously we feel like we've recruited, you know, some pretty good edge rushers that we think will have a chance to develop and, and be able to affect the game in a positive way. Um, but the reality of it is, you know, we have to improve. You know, we want to be better, you know, at winning some one-on-ones. But I think the guys understand that to a man, and I think they're up for the challenge. 
Coach, with not having a spring game, obviously because of the construction, there, there's a, a legit reason. But how do you compensate for not being able to evaluate in a live session with fans and them being on their own for their assignments? Yeah, well, we like to think we bring the energy every day and try to put, you know, create as much of a hostile environment as we can. But yeah, I, I think that's probably more for the younger guys that haven't been in the arena. You know, that's a challenge because they won't they won't feel the passion, of, you know, particularly with our own fan base. But you know, but at the end of the day, you know, we just talk about put the ball down. You know, you want to be able to play regardless of what the environment is, and this will be one of those situations in the spring. So we might be on a road where maybe they're not as passionate, you know, as UT fans, and we still got to go out and play with great energy and great. Juice, so we're going to treat the spring the same. Tim, I know it's just two days uh, not in pads, but what, what have you seen so far from Jordan Phillips, and, and how much did it help for him to get such an extended look during bowl practices in December? Yeah, it, it's been good. You know, um, like you said, it's kind of hard to evaluate D linemen, you know, and linebackers for that matter, um, you know, with no pads on. But the thing that I love about Jordan is just, again, he wants to please. He wants to be great. You know, he, he's a high, you know, effort type of kid. And, you know, you, you, you tell him, you know, what you want to get done, and he's going to try to do it, you know, exactly how you asked him to do it. So um, from, that, from that perspective, he's been awesome, you know. But just like anything, it's obviously, you know, when you step up in class, you know, to a, you know, a program like UT, you know, it may take him a minute, you know, but the good news is, you know, he's ready and willing. I think the reality, him having a couple of those bold practices, though, to answer your question, I think that has helped him. I think that has benefited him. He understands a little bit more, you know, how Coach G coaches, you know, what his expectations are. And I think he's obviously further ahead than he would have been if, you know, he obviously had just gotten here. And also Tyree West, just any, any thoughts on him, too? Yeah, um, you know, Tyree is, um, he's, he's working, you know, he's, um, he he wants to he, he wants to be good you know he's 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 figuring out exactly how we do things and and how we want things done so you know from a talent perspective you know I think he's going to be fine you know I think you know obviously guys um, all learn you know differently and you know all have different experiences based on their high school and where they come from so um, but he's getting it you know I know he wants to he's smiling every day he's he's excited to be here so um, I'm I'm pleased with him you know I'm I'm happy he's here. How big of an opportunity is it for some of those young safeties? They're practicing out of position a little bit, some of them over a corner, but looks like they're going to be getting a lot more reps this spring. Uh, speak on that opportunity, if you would. Yeah, I, I think, you know, particularly, you know, in defensive back room, you know, we don't, I mean, I know you guys talk about safeties and corners, you know, even when we're recruiting, we don't think of it that way. You know, we just want to recruit DBs. You know, the more you can do, the more versatility you have, the better it is for us schematically. And even in situations like this, you know, someone gets dinged up and we need to move the next best guy in. You know, you don't want to be handcuffed because all he can play is safety or all he can play is corner. So um, it's, it's really um, – it's really awesome, to be honest, because those guys are getting some really good reps out there, you know, going against some really good wide outs on the edges. You know, whether they move back inside or stay out there, I think in the long run it's going to work to their favor. Coach, uh, you touched on the edge guys earlier. Byron Young was a guy that you, probably, you guys probably didn't know much about, him coming in from junior college a year ago. Now you've seen him play and produce. Uh, what can he kind of do next and what have you sort of seen from him this offseason as, as he's taking maybe the next step? Yeah, I, I think BY is getting a lot more comfortable with trying to lead, you know, which is awesome. You know, he's, he's not a guy that's, you know, super vocal all the time, uh, but we put him in situations during this offseason where we forced him to do it and I think he's responded in a positive way. You know, he, he's obviously talented, you know, he's, he's got good twitch, you know, he can run, you know, he's put on good weight. You know, I'm excited, you know, about him, to be honest. I think he has a chance to, to really take another step. You know, he's a kid who hadn't played a lot of football to, to, to last year. And, you know, I thought as the season went on, you know, obviously you guys could see the productivity. But, you know, for us, we could just see the growth. So, you know, every, every rep, you know, is valuable. But for him in particular, you know, every single rep he takes, you know, you can see him starting to get better and better. So I think the sky's the limit. I think he really just started to scratch the surface on how good he can be. Um, so... You know, we'll see. You know, he's got, you know, a couple more opportunities, obviously, through this spring, you know, and then we'll hopefully build upon it in the summer, you know, and we'll cut him loose this fall. Last spring you were without 
all basically all your linebackers this year you're missing a lot of guys in the secondary how do you, how can you compare the two i mean are they, are they similar and, and you know can you take something that you were able to use last spring and use it to this year yeah, I think the hardest thing about last season was, you know, we didn't have any any reference. You know, you could try to look at the tape, um, but, you know, I, I just didn't. You know, we wanted to judge these guys on their own merit. So, but now the guys that are out, we know who they are. You know, we had a chance to work with them, you know, whether it was the spring and the fall or some kids just the fall. So we know what we have waiting. You know, this is really just an opportunity to coach the guys that we got right now. Um, but when we're coaching the linebackers, you just didn't know, you know, you didn't know how good JB could be. You didn't know, you know, how athletic he was or what kind of passion he has. But, you know, I know who Warren Burrell is, you know, so it's a little bit different, you know, but at the end of the day, as I stated earlier, you know, it's, it's just it's probably a better opportunity for some of these other younger DBs to get a chance to play at some different positions and obviously get some reps that maybe they otherwise wouldn't have gotten. What have you seen from Gerald Mincy just on film and then what have you seen from him just so far in the past couple of days of, of his skill level? Okay, what about uh, I do, Jackson? I, you know what? I, I have put on a little weight. I do I look like Golish a little bit? Sorry. Is that, that yeah, I threw you with this? Wrong I know. Wrong my one. wife keeps telling me I need Wrong to get tail running bad. again. So. Sorry. I, I'm just messing right. with you, man. Go what ahead. about uh, oh. All right. Um, just as far as um, linebackers are concerned, Jeremy Banks' his stability that he brings. Yeah. No, you know, I love JB. You know, JB has tremendous um, amount of passion and energy. You know, he's, he's a fire plug, man. He plays hard. Um, you know, I think the game will start to even slow down for him. You know, I know, you know, prior to last season, he had played some, you know, in some different situations. But, you know, last season was the most snaps he had ever played. And um, I thought he got better, you know. But I think he'd be the first one to tell you, you know, it's still a lot of food left on the plate. And um, I know he's eager to, you know, to, to get the things done, get some corrections, and, and really put himself in a position to have an even better year this season. Just with Elijah Simmons, what's y'all's message as a coaching staff been to him, and what have you seen from him so far this offseason? Big Elijah? Yes. <laughs> Elijah's one of the guys that we talked about have changed his body. You know, he's, he, we think Elijah has a chance to be a really, really good player. You know, he's worked hard to, to try to get a six-pack. You can, you can print that, right? So he, he won, <laughs> his body has slimmed down, which is obviously giving him the ability to move a little bit better, to show a little bit more explosiveness. Uh, he's always been a strong kid, and he's a naturally big kid anyway. You know, obviously being beat up a little bit last year, you know, um, did not help his cause. But, but he's been committed. You know, he really has. He's one of the guys I was thinking about when you talk about offseason and being committed to, you know, putting the right things in your body. And, um, you know, you can kind of see it, you know, from, you know, how his, you know, body fat has changed. So uh, we're hoping that he can obviously stay healthy, which we think he will, particularly with how he slimmed down. Uh, but so far, and again, it's only been two days, but the fact that his body has changed the way it has tell me he's headed in the right, uh, the right direction. Thank you, All right. Appreciate you guys.